Hello plant friends, today we are going to be talking about Biophytum sensitivum. But before we get into how to germinate this plant, I want to first say that they are native to Nepal and India. They are considered weeds in greenhouses because once they develop the seed pod in the top of the plant, the seed pod can explode and leave seeds and seedlings all over your greenhouse pots when you might not really want them everywhere. Biophytum sensitivum is similar to Mimosa pudica in that when you touch the leaves, they tend to fold up in response to touch, which means that they are seismonastic. People tend to grow Biophytum sensitivum plants in their terrariums because they're easily containable inside of a glass box or a plastic box. The other thing is that they do kind of look like little trees, so they are cool to have when you can see them in a small terrarium setting versus a giant greenhouse setting. First things first, the Biophytum sensitivum seeds are pretty small. I don't know if you can see the seed at the end of my tweezers here. When you get them, I think I got about 10 in a package from Cracked Pot Seeds, which I will link down below in my description. I basically just put normal seed starting mixture in a mix seed tray. I would say I kept my moisture level to, if, if one of these is, let's say, half a cup, I put half a cup of water to three cups of soil, which are in the trays, if that makes sense. So it's not very moist at all. And the reason why I did that is the first time I started Little Tree Plants or Biophytum Sensitivum is they molded or dampened off with the first batch of germinated seeds. And that's because it was much, much too moist for them to survive. They do like humidity. So you definitely want to keep your humidity down on top of the seed starting tray after you've placed your seeds. And like a lot of very tiny seeds, I would say that you want to put your Biophytum sensitivum seeds right on top of the soil. You don't really want to spray them down after you put them right on top of the soil. In fact, I think I just bottom watered this tray. And then once I was done bottom watering, I put the humidity down, put it under a light, forgot they existed. They're not as responsive as Mimosa pudica if you wanted to watch my other video on that up here. I have not grown them to the point yet to see their seed pods explode everywhere, but I have seen people who do that and you can see a dozen of small little trees. I really don't mind, they're pretty cute, you know? Um, I guess if you're trying to grow something special and you want to make sure that something has space to exist, don't put these in your terrarium or other sort of green space to have them grow. They're small and contained. We'll see how fast they grow. This is about two months worth of growth here, if you can kind of see that. They do look like little tree seedlings when I compare them to my other seedlings that are actually trees. Other than that, there's not too much with these guys. Eventually I might repot them and put them in their own little terrarium spot. I actually don't think I can leave them out in the open. I'm not sure that they can handle room humidity, which is typically 40% or less right now. My room humidity is at 52%, so they should be fine for this moment, but I'm not expecting them to last forever outside. They will dry up very quickly. That's basically it, you guys. You get your seeds, you put them on top of the soil, and if it's not too moist, but just moist enough, they'll start to germinate within a week. I would just keep the temperature around 72 to 82 degrees and keep your humidity up as high as you can get it without the soil being crazy wet. Let me know in the comments if you've tried to germinate these before and you've had any trouble. I'm happy to help. They were not that much of an issue this time for me, but I have had trouble with them before. And hopefully I'll see you guys in a few days for my next seed starting video. Thanks!